All right, and that's, that's a wrap. A wrap. Thanks, Thanks for showing, for showing up, everybody. Up, everybody. Peace, Peace, we're out. We're out. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, David's uh, David's one of my uh, D and D players slash uh, friends slash uh, Gloomhaven guy. Oh, he also likes a lot of magic as well. Maybe Nate will show up as well. If we see a good job, Dino. That's Nate. Wow, we've oh, already, already lost, lost a viewer. viewer. Oh my God! <laughs> what an asshole! We're so, so exciting. exciting. We've already, We've already lost, lost the viewer. viewer. What a way to get this started. Oh. Nothing, Nothing but class, but class here. here. All right, so how's the... Oh, wow, Jake and Joel and Magic are here. What's up, dude? Oh, right oh, on. Look at that. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, I'm, I'm finishing my breakfast. <laughs> I'm echoing. Okay, okay. let me uh, yeah. see if I can't cut um, that. Down. That ain't going to be a you thing. That's going to be a me thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, there's Bobby Z giving us a little heat in the channel. Hopefully we have some heat tonight. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, hey stopping grounds. Thanks for stopping in. in. Okay, that should fix things a bit. All right, My we need audio? to. We, yeah, it's either gonna it's either gonna keep doing it, or I'm gonna have to put on headphones, or I have to lower the volume globally for me, which is fine. You're kind of loud, but I want to be in the moment. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Actually, Actually that, that's, that's typically, typically what I'm doing, doing on the foil quest. This isn't a big knife. This is this is just a very it's it's zoomed in a lot. Trust me. No, I, they're, they're, talking they're talking about they're talking about my uh, my beverage. Oh, <laughs> the echo stopped good. Yeah, I have a um, yeah, brown R paper bag. RTX uh, graphics I card. It's supposed brown. to cut out oh, all the you, garbage you. noise. Oh, oh, never mind. Started back. Back. That's terrible. All right. Nah, it's I'm not fine. sure what I can do to cut that down without completely muting myself. Nah, nah, it's it's not. It's it's when you talk. It's I'm I, it, I'm surprised it's doing it to be honest. RTX voice normally takes care of that, but I'll lower my volume a smidge. Talk again. Well, we may want to look into getting like those monitor earbuds, like the Bluetooth ones. Nah, yeah, that fixed it. I mean, I have so an, a very I nice. I have a really nice pair of Sennheiser headphones, but I don't really like wearing headphones that much. It makes my ears hot, and then I get warm, and then I start just, like sweating. Although these are a lot better at not doing that because they're open back. All right. Well, I guess any time that you're ready to get started here, you know. <laughs> With your little <laughs> pocket knife there. That's right, folks. Yeah, um, the pocket knife's home. small. My hands are just really big. <laughs> <sighs> All so right. How's everybody night out there? Yeah, yeah, but you know what? You know what? It's too soon. Oh, yeah, this is a little broken. The bad side. The bad side. Don't look at the bad side. I have a dumb friend that you try to use as a hammer. <laughs> I don't know why you would use <laughs> this part as a hammer. Friend, by the way. No, you use this part as the hammer. If you're going to use it, if you're going to use a tool improperly, at hey, least bubble. use you know good part of it thanks for stopping in all right we still haven't gotten started yet so no we can get started now. Time. um no no oh i think he was talking about this being broken by the way i got a new camera if you guys have watched um actually they don't know about the camera i did two box openings with my other phone the autofocus was kind of meh um you guys will be seeing the box opening probably within the next week or two um, there's like an M21 box opening and then a normal Icoria, but the phone, it didn't focus very well. This phone is crazy good at focusing. I highly recommend it. Like if you have like a card here, you can just pull it up and just boom, it just focuses. It's actually pretty insane. Reaver Demon, you know, classic. Our fellows, boom, Not focus. really sure I understand Pablo, but however you can view or listen or whatever you can do. Yeah, thanks, Pablo. Maybe he's busy. 
FGG Pegler, what's up? Pedler. Hey, Pegler. Pegler. All right, so let's get this. Uh... Heck yeah. This Bring is not the up. safest way to open this box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. All right, so now I have to keep an eye on where I have focused. It's a little strange opening something. Uh, I'm just going to toss the shit behind me. It's a little strange opening something um, and not looking at what you're doing, but looking at a camera of what you're doing. Um, but I'll, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Did, did you notice, Peddler, he didn't cut across the box? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a savage. <laughs> All right, so we'll move this box off to the side for now. It will be open, but in, in a moment here. And then we'll, we'll place that there. And that there. Nothing else in the box. I wasn't sure if there was going to be a box top or anything. Toss it off to the side. I just want to say thank you before we get started for everybody stopping in on our first stream tonight. This is very exciting for me. Me as well, really as, I, as I almost kill myself as I punch my knife. How is the, uh, we actually, yeah, before we get started, just so, um, how is the audio? How loud is Rob? How loud is the music? How loud am I? Are we all equal volume? The music should be about 50% of our volume, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, we don't want to be too distracting, so let me know how the, the audio is. I can adjust anything on the fly. Volume good all around? I'm the best. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah right now Ikora is actually heating up uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the prices out there but I hadn't checked it for a bit and especially the, the hopefully some of the stuff that we open up tonight yeah I'm very excited uh, opening the um Opening the standard Ikoria box, I actually really, really enjoyed that. And I feel like even though this is only 12 packs, that's why I bought two, so it's 24 packs. <laughs> and I wanted to open more. Um, yeah, so I guess if audio is good, then let's get going. Let's crack it, this topic wide open. All right, so I don't know how these packs are structured at all. Um, so Rob's going to be the expertise here. I've watched about one or two box openings for this. Um, well, I got a foil dinosaur token. Is that standard? Are, are tokens always going to be foil in the front? Oh, everything's foil in the front. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So these, so how does it, how is it, how's the pack laid out? Common, 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 uncommon. I don't want to waste time on all the commons. I don't recall it's been so long since I, I opened mine. <laughs> I'll have to look at the, uh, the pack So it looks structure. like. But it's, uh, it's, you're, you're, you're going to have a shot at the alternate Godzilla in the back. That I do remember. Well, we got a nesting ground as our first rare. Um, but then we got a mythic, Fiend Artisan. I didn't even look at what nesting ground does. Well, it's a land, obviously. Adds colorless, which is cool. Uh, move a counter from target permanent you control onto another target permanent. Ooh, that's a, that's a good hit right there. The Fiend Artisan, that's that's actually a pretty hot hit. <clears throat> Two mana, one, one. I faced off against it's that. It's one, one for every actually, card in your graveyard? That's one. really nice. That's that's a good hit right there. That fiend. Yeah, this guy's nuts. I like that guy. That guy's awesome. Hey, look, Winota. I already have like three of those. Let me move the packs off to the side. I already have Al Archipelago. I love the arts on these. I'll tell you that. Dirge Bat, and then we got Dora the Perfect Pet, and then Trampling Gnar. So is it gonna be Trumpling. three uh, full arts and then two foils, or is the are all these cards just random? Um, they're not, they're not. random. But you have shots at like the Godzilla art in the back, but well, I meant like rarity and, and foiling. Like, are these five in the back different than the rest? Because it seems like they're separated yeah. from the rare. Oh, I didn't even realize this is Winota's foil. Yeah, Winota's yeah. actually a good commander. That's cool. Yeah, the full art's full art. worth a bit more, but that's okay. a good commander right there. I already have these. How's oh, this the, isn't uh, the Dirge Bats. Oops. Dirge Bat's new. I don't remember the Pringling being too bad on Ikoria. How is it coming out of the box, at least? Looks Pringling. pretty good. I don't really see any kind of Pringling or anything yet. And I will be putting these in sleeves and whatnot. I'm not going to bother doing it right now. Um, that's a really funky looking art. Ooh, he looks like... If anybody plays Monster Hunter World, he looks like the... There's, there's a monster that looks like this. Great game, by the way. 
It's actually in my uh, my Godzilla commander deck. All right, so you said like good it. hit would be uh, Fiend Artisan and Winota. Is Nesting Ground a good hit or no? Mm -hmm. Not really. I mean, it's that's All if right, you look, if you, if you want to take a peek at that Nesting Ground, you'll see that that actually has a different symbol. That comes out of the commander. I was wondering set. about that. Mm -hmm. The I didn't yeah. understand what that symbol meant. Let's talk about that's the, the, the rarity symbol. Decks. Yeah, it's a rare from yeah. the commander decks. And that can happen in these these collector these collector boxes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I did not study the breakdown, actually, of the the pack structures. I'm actually trying to find something that's decent on that right now. Okay, so it looks like yeah, it looks like the first five are going to be foil commons, and like they're normal art, mm -hmm. so they're kind of boring. Then uncommon, uncommon forest. It's usually after the land there. I was gonna say, so basically like it seems like after the there. land, I'll, I'll, so I'll skip at, past mm -hmm. everything, but the getting to this, this it looks like another commander card, Surly Bajasaur. It is. <laughs> uh, so are these cards something that's standard in, or le standard legal or no? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by standard legal. They're, like standard tournament legal. These are commander legal. cards specifically for the commander set, so they're not in the standard set. Right, yeah, these so, collectors. Like, you would be drafting the box anyways. Hey, ooh, ooh full nice. art Loris. That's a good one. Yeah. I know that's a good one. Would have been nice if that had been foil. That'd have been like about a hundred bucks. Yeah, it is not foil, unfortunately. That's sad. But that's still a good hit. But I mean, it's a great hit. That's yeah. such an annoying card, that Loris. Rondlin Philadar. Creature you control a vigilance and tap target creature. Uh, all right, chittering dream tail Everquell. I like the art of this one really, really a lot. Baby Godzilla. Baby Godzilla. I like the so video Godzilla. Godzilla for the box. Let's hope we get a little more heat out of the uh, Godzilla slot coming up here. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, I covered the great collector product. Yeah, I'm actually very new. I've never opened any collector packs until this this box right here. This is my very first collector pack experience. Hey, Emily. Thanks for stopping right. in. So is every if the, is this slot or... always going to be a commander card? Yes. Oh. That's so weird. Call well, of the you Copper You can Ghost. actually get some decent hits in there. Hopefully... I didn't know, say it was a bad thing. I just said it's fun. weird. It's it's definitely a different pack opening experience. Well, that looks nice. There's one I actually don't have. Offspring's Revenge. Nice. At the beginning of combat on your turn, exile target red, white, no, or black no creature. Create a token. Yeah, yeah. The Luris is probably your biggest hit so far. Maybe the Fiend Artisan, but I'm I mean, the that's a, still a good card. Kind of expensive, but I still like it. Uh, Yorian. I already have Yorian. But... It's foil, but, you know. That's a new card that I haven't seen yet. Hunmaster Liger. Ligers are badass, by the way. Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get one XX. Yeah, mutate okay. is so strong. It's one of my I know what mutate is now. <laughs> we got a Vulpikeet. God damn it, I have so many of this card. <laughs> Ha! Oh, go, it's foil. Look at that. He looks sick. Warming up a little bit. I'm to look at that Luris. Oh, wow. It, it actually just dropped, but it's showing the Luris around 27 Pretty bucks. badass. Parcel Beasts. I like Parcel Beasts. Four mana. Okay, because he's Simic. You're just biased. And the Fiend Artisan's around 950. All right. I'm just distracting you. Look up the, the prices of stuff, and I want to be paying attention. I'd rather you what, you what, do that than me. <laughs> I'm not look. I'm not worried about the prices of stuff, to be honest. Like I I don't you know. I'd rather more just kind of check the cards out. And uh, well, there you go. You got a guardianship. That's a that's a big fierce hit, guardianship. Three mana instant. If you control commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Jesus. Yeah, dude, that's a good hit right there. That's fierce nuts. That's, oh, that's that's nice. That's really nice. Ooh, and a full art guy. I don't know how people Giadora, say it. Doom of Death. Garuda. It looks like Garuda. Or Giruda. Could be Giruda. I don't know. You know what's funny about this? This looks like a Kraken to me, right? But. Mm -hmm. Hold on. There's another Kraken that's a full art Kraken that's not a Kraken, but everybody's calling it a Kraken. Because uh, there's a game that I call that I play as well. I thought for sure I pulled one already. Uh, yeah, that's not a crack. Or, oh, that's a Leviathan. 
Hmm. See, to it me, that's like not a, a leviathan. It's a. Turtle, it's just a big turtle. Island thing. So I guess. Ooh. Okay. Anyways. Um. I guess that is a kraken versus a leviathan. I don't know. I thought of a leviathan being different. I, I imagine he's not worth it much. That fierce guardianship, though. That's that's a big hit. I'm not complaining. <laughs> that's I don't know hit. how much it's worth, but I like it. It's a good card, especially for commander. It's, it's a great card. They they have All one right. for each color out of the uh, 2020 commander sets. Guardianship is the that best is hit in the commander slot. I know the big ones. Amori the, one the collector is, is big, and I think that's the biggest. If I'm not mistaken, now I got to go look at it because. I'm curious. La 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 la. Oh. I'll, I'll leave that in the. Ooh. Oh. The art of this card is nuts. I really like That's the coloring and whatnot. Damn, I'm missing the show. It's like a snake. Oh, that's a great, great card. card. I, yeah, I it's like a. Did, did, didn't get enough love. I, I love this card. So imagine that you're playing, like in my commander deck, if you, if you play like Time Warp. So take another turn, you pop that guy out, you take another turn, you mutate, you take another turn. You, so you, you, wait, you so I looked up mutate, so you can mutate onto creatures, but can you mutate multiple times? Like, can you mutate this onto a different creature? Like when it's already on the battlefield? No, once it hits the board, it's there, but you can mutate on top of it and it'll trigger every time it mutates. Oh, it it's mutating mutate as well. Every time they mutate. Yeah, Interesting. I, love mutate. I know nothing about mutate, but it has a cool looking art. Oh, yeah. Luca, copper cast outcast. Yeah, he's oh, he's, he's full he's, art as well. I like him as a planeswalker. He's pretty good. He's he's in my deck as well. <laughs> Five hey, mana. Archangel. Thanks for showing up. Welcome, Archangel. Welcome, Chicken. Well, well Mari's nice. I haven't really played Umori. Really cool. Oh, hey, look, look at that. that. Right there. Nice. Because I almost destroy it. <laughs> uh, it's lightly played now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Look at that. Juicy that's, ass that's right card that's there. Awesome. I know that's like 40 bucks or so, or maybe 50. You may cast Brokus Apex forever from your using its ability cost. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, if you like recursion. Yeah, he ain't never going away. That, that's yeah. pretty well, sick. I mean, cool. As long as you don't get exiled, but yeah, that's. Yeah, Mute really works like Bastow from Theros One. I, I don't know yeah, why I read it as Bastow really instead well of Bastow. Box already. Feathers. Really, really well. All right, what do we got? Island. Boom. Species specialist. Um. That one I'm not familiar with. Uh, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies, you may draw a card. Yeah, this, so, is, this is. It's it's, very it's interesting. Good box so far, man. A normal Amori. Well, I hope you like Amori, because you got another one. I love the Golgari <laughs> color, so the color scheme. So I, I still don't understand what Companion is. Is command is Companion kind of like a standard Commander? Like, I don't know what... Like, what is Commander? Or Companion, I mean. Companion? Oh, wow. I don't I don't know if we want to get into that in the stream here. You have to oh, meet can... a certain condition. Like, if you could just hold this up on the screen for a minute. Yeah. So... In your entire deck, each non-land card in your starting deck shares a card type. So, like, say, I don't know, elves or who knows what, Eldrazi. So you can't have any um, like instants or sorceries in order to play this card. If you uh, play well, creatures, have to be of the card, they have to share a card type. So it would have to be some sort of tribal, I would guess. Yeah, there are tribal instants and sorceries. Cards, like, essentially, it's outside of your hundred card deck. It makes the hundred and first card. Like, Commander has to have 100 cards, right? Right. With your Commander. But this ends up being, like, your 101st card. So it sort of breaks the rules a little bit. They've huh. ratted it. I, I don't remember exactly what all they've done. Um, I don't I don't like complicated, so I haven't really played with Companions too much. Oh, because it's the same. There's so much controversy surrounding it. And I just... Yeah, this, I, this, I freaking, live without it. this freaking card right here, Porky Parrot. It just looks like a giant ape uh, parrot thing i'm not really sure the porky porky part comes maybe the the pair on the back or something well, that, i don't think that's hair i think that's like quills oh dude yeah, next card i love the migratory great horn not a huge money card but that card in my opinion should not have been a comp this is a backbreaker especially when you play it with the skew swarm it's just a beastly card it lets you go Ooh. ramp it puts the creature out there oh 
The art on this card looks amazing. Wait, isn't broke? Hold on. Oh yeah, this is this. So this is that card. Yeah, there's there's. It, it, don't try to follow like all the different versions. I, I don't even remember how many versions there are of each card. Oh, Godzilla Doom Inevitable. <laughs> That's two of him. Archipelago. A little bit of duplication in this box already. You have the yeah, duplicate the, Mori. Yeah. You got the du duplicate Godzilla Doom Inevitable. Put them right next to each other. I think that's the Yadaro, right? The Wandering. Is that what it says on it? Which one? So these are just differently named cards. Oh, you mean up top. Yeah, if you look underneath... Yadaro Wandering title, Monster. And, and there's a lot of, like, mechanics based around that. So you can't have, like, a Yadaro and a Godzilla on the board at the same time because they're technically the same card. It's a foil. It's a foily Winota. <laughs> He's like, oh, you you got a Winota. It's a foily one. Yeah, would have been nice if that had been full art. Yeah, I don't have a full art one yet, so that'd be nice. But that is a good commander. Winota is right. a really good. Commander. Ooh, I actually really wanted a um a foil evolving <laughs> wilds. The art is <laughs> sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna invoke a little bad boy gaming here. Ooh, the best card in Magic. <laughs> so good. I love Evolving Wilds. <sighs> oh, so that's what Parcel Beast Parcel looks like Beast without being full art. Good, but it's a terrible one to put on your... If you go back to it real quick. The, the Parcel Beast. Um, no, nope, there you go. It, it's, it's, it's a tap effect, right? So if you're stacking up this, this Voltron, right? Now you're just using it to tap and look at the top card of your library. I mean, unless you put like... Yeah, I don't think you're going to want to mutate somehow. onto it. Well, you can it, mutate like, it onto something that's better, but then you're going to tap it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's kind of an odd situation yeah, it, there. It, it, it kind of, it's, it's got a very odd way to play out. Not familiar with that one either, but I've heard about it. Crystalline before. Resonance. Three mana enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, you may have Crystalline Resonance become a copy of another target permanent. Until end of Ooh. turn. Interesting. Except that it has this ability, so every time you cycle it, you keep changing. You can copy, like, <laughs> Coat of Arms and stuff like that. For three mana, I can see it being useful. Oh, the voracious Great Shark. Ah. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, I got so many of that guy. Yeah, and not to say that I want him, but he looks cool. The art's pretty badass. Ooh, that looks cool. Lava Brink Venture. Probably not worth anything, but the full art version looks pretty cool. I remember I pulled, a, a, I think, a normal one of him. Cloud Piercer, Trumpeting Gnar, Cub Warden. These are all cards that I've seen. Hey, welcome, Talamar. Dorat, the perfect pet. And then a bone. So this was the this was the dinosaur? Where was the dinosaur? Uh, Dorat. Oh, so Dora is the dinosaur, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Sprite Dragon, it says right there. Um, ooh, that looks... Uh... That's actually a fantastic card to play with. Dude, all, all of my four, four, black, green recursion decks play that Joker. Even when it's not like a mutate-specific deck, I'll run this one, and I'll run Gem Hide Razor. It's a 4-4 four, four body that gets a card back from the graveyard. Like, that's pretty good. I'm curious why it says permanent. Yeah, yeah, but every I'm, time you mutate. Why does it say permanent card from your graveyard? Why not any? Why does it have to specifically stay permanent? Is there ever a case where a card can be in your graveyard that isn't a permanent? Oh, Sorcery's tokens. Tokens hit the graveyard before they uh, before they exit, I no, think. No, no, no. It, it's, you can't go back and get sorceries and instants is what it's saying. Oh, yeah, that makes sense as well. But I think the token rule is, is the same as well, I think. It's a well, weird token, ruling. I think graves. a token hits the graveyard first and then fizzles. Uh, uh, but yeah, instant of sorcery is I, I, I'm not sure. probably the more standard I case. The rule. About tokens, I'm not sure that they technically hit the graveyard. I thought they do, because they die. Or if they die, they do. They get exiled. Yeah, 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 but they well, get exiled, but they still yeah, hit the I, graveyard, I, I think. They will trigger a going into the graveyard effect. Uncommon. All my all my commander cards have been rare. I didn't even know this could happen. Unfortunate. Ooh, look at the art on that. Focus. There you go. Titan's Nest. Hmm. So th then they might trigger. Yeah, I know a lot of things like going to the graveyard matters. Yeah, That's I was right. Art. Okay. Yeah, the art is amazing. That like, oh, there's a yeah, dinosaur in the center of all the uh, the bones. You know what I think? 
if you if anybody plays monster hunter world a lot of this art is reminiscent of that actually now that i think about it this is very monster hunter like which is a bunch of dinosaurs that you fight so it makes sense they're all like primal beasts now that makes sense too oh bosh the prey piercer Ooh. I, I i love it. i'm just gonna say this yeah. uh, you know talmar I, I i love icor I, I i have been talking it up for a while maybe not necessarily online but it is my personal favorite set as far as individual sets it's the one that got me back into magic last year because i just love the idea of the godzilla i'm not even a big godzilla fan that is a beast of a card that is an amazing card this is this reminds me of some dbz style art with like the the lines and like a like a i could just picture like replace oh, yeah. this guy with goku like charging at you or actually his frame more like brawly because he's really girthy and big Ha! space godzilla death corona this caused so much controversy if you want to stop on it too bad it's not foil this one just recently spiked on the yeah. foil version of it but look at the name oh yeah i know death space corona oh we didn't get it to pull it out in time I, I don't think they should have pulled it out. I think that's 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 a different topic. But I don't. You you, you can only be so sensitive about stuff. I, I it, it's not just because. So, ooh, oh, it looks really good foil. I love Lord Rackus. I really do. I like the or art any, most. It, or what's what's the new Prismari? Prismari. Are you kidding me? Go, oh, he's go good. And get that inst an instant or a sorcery, and you have a body on the board. Heck yeah. Okay, the, the box calmed down a little bit, so we need to. It, it did, but you got some pretty big hits in there. I think you got your money's worth. Oh, I'm I'm not worried about that. Lava Brink Floodgates. Not familiar with that card at all. At the all. beginning of each player's upkeep, the player may put a Doom Counter on Lava Brink or remove a Doom Counter from it. Then, if it has three or more Doom Counters, and sacrifice it when you do, deal six damage to each creature. Ah, uh, so it's kind of like a uh, a decision that your opponents have to make. Do you want this person to have access to two red mana every turn? Or do you want to nuke the board? It's actually kind of an interesting uh, commander card. I like it. Bonders on I like this. One. I, I I mean it does something that I don't think a lot of cards do. Well, I've colored this cards, draw a card, activate this ability only if you control a power of four or greater. Oh easy. Yeah, this card's great. And the art's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It it kind of gets around your hatred of Library of Alexandria. <laughs> oh, a foil hey, triome. Not bad. Triumph. Not bad. It's foil as well. I don't know if Zagos. Yeah, well, Zagos. It's got blue in the. It's got blue in it. It's probably worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> but it's. What still do you good mean? Ooh, that's a new car, new art. I think. Cavern that's Whisperer. That's another great one for like creature removal. And what I like about it, if you stop for just a creature second. Creature removal. So now with the uh, Turford got a flight deck. You notice it says that this is for a commander deck for sure. That when you mutate, it's got menace, and it says each opponent discards a card. I don't think a lot of people saw that. So you play this one, and I can't remember what the other one was. You, you pulled it earlier that makes people sack a creature. Ooh. Hey, hey, a full art triome. Right on. Why not? Why not? That looks so good. Oh, yeah. Dude, why, don't, why aren't all the art just like this? Like, I almost feel like they're wasting here. cardboard printing anything else. I love the art on these. I think they're just... They're, they're like some of the Ooh. best. Godzilla, primal Godzilla champion. Card. What, what is happening behind me? Yeah, I know, right? I don't want to look, but it's like, it's kind of like, okay, I see. It looked like the card was split in half there, but it's not. Oh, oh that's a big hit. What is that? that? I don't have that one. That's one of the few that I'm missing in the Godzilla full art foil. That looks kind of creepy and badass at the same time. It's like a cat nightmare, Dude, undead be beast. Great, like recursion type commander i i definitely have one of these i think whenever this creature mutates return any number yeah i remember looking at this like wait what when he mutates return any number of target creature cards to total power 10 or less from the graveyard that's nuts yeah <laughs> yeah so basically that's friggin nuts basically you, you like just put a whole bunch of your creatures into the graveyard what a pack that pack was nuts them and then pull, pull them all back this was that pack <laughs> yeah that was a that was a great pack man what, what a pack so all you have to do is apparently complain about the heat of the pack <laughs> and it listens and turns it up for you. Oh, David, this is the commander oh, of one of your, one of your decks. What's that? 
Uh, Dave was saying this is the commander that uh, of one of his commander decks. Dave plays a lot of commander, actually. So he'll be one of the people that we probably play with once uh, once uh, Space Godzilla Death Corona is over. <laughs> <clears throat> uh oh my poor little pc is lagging kazar ruthless stalker four mana three three partner with ukima stalking shadow whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player put a one counter on that creature yeah that doesn't really i don't know what is the partner mechanic when this creature enters the battlefield target player may put uh, Ukima into their hand from their graveyard or from their library. Yeah. So he's a fetch for Okima. Who's it's, it's is Okima like good? Oh. I don't know. I'm not real familiar with that. Labyrinth Raptor. I haven't cracked my commander deck. They are still, you know, sealed because. When, so it has Menace. Whenever it, of... Menace is the one where it can't block unless it has two more creatures, or is it the one that can't block unless it shares color type? Um, it's two. Or, you have to have two or more. Two or more. Okay. Whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifice a creature blocking it. Wow. That makes blocking real annoying. Huh. <laughs> that would have been that would have been awesome, Peddler, had that actually been foreign clutch. <laughs> In an Icoria box. Can you get Vorn Clex from an Icoria box? No, you cannot. I'll say they, 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 they did do like some spillovers. Um, I think the first time I saw that was from like still again. Oh, hey, there you go. Another triumph. Another triumph, and it's the Zagoth triumph. Zagoth. Didn't I just get a Zagoth? Oh, I got a foil you did, non. But you got the non full art one. Ah, um, you got the, that's essentially Gem Razor, but that's the Godzilla version of it. Oh, okay. Some people really complain about this because of the the jet planes in the background. Like, I don't oh, want because it's jets in in Magic. Magic? Gathering games. People are so yeah. fickle, man. Just enjoy the freaking card. Like, come on. Who cares about the planes? You know what? It, Here. It just, it, it's so awesome. What you man. do, if you don't like the it's planes, just, but you really like, like the art, you get an eraser and you, like, erase away the, the planes. <laughs> That's what people used to do on older cards. Yeah. I don't think you want to be doing that on, on, on any of these cards. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, if you, only if you don't care about the the value of them. If you if you actually... Well, maybe maybe you can sell it to the people that hate the planes. Uh, Three. Of this oh, wow. box. Well, you're doing really well. Uh, oh, look at that token. <laughs> Foil Kraken token. Like All right. Uh, what do we got here? Boom. Dismantling wave. Three okay. mana. For each opponent, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment the player controls. It has cycling. You cycle, destroy everything. Cycling mm. eight. <laughs> That's real high cycling cost. That's a pretty, that's a pretty steep cycling cost. Can, uh, I forget. Can you you can cycle as an instant, right? Yeah. Mm. The problem is, is like all artifacts and enchantments, like for eight, that's that's a bit pricey. Okay, what we got? That's we got good. Chevelle, the bane of monsters. Okay, so we got a monster He's hunter here. Pretty good. He's actually really good. So one three human rogue for two death touch at the beginning of upkeep. If your opponent controls no permanents with bounty counters on them, put a bounty counter on target creature or planeswalker. When your opponent an opponent controls with the bounty dies, you get a three man, a three life and draw a card. Yeah okay. Oh my god, it's a cat beast. Kahira, the orphan cat guard. Beast elk. Three mana three two. Oh, it's one of those companions. Each creature in your card starting deck is a. Cat, Elemental, Nightmare, Dinosaur, Beast. Okay, I did pull one of these already. Interesting. Looks like a Tribal Enhancer. Mm -hmm. Oh! Snapdax! Look at the art on that thing. What the hell? It doesn't even I look mean, like... So this, ca this card bad. is a little bit of a... Uh, This almost touches the border of what I feel like a Magic card should look like. Like at a certain point, it starts to not become looking like a magic card, and it starts looking like this. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, an I anime say card it of some sort. Really Yu-Gi-Oh-ish to me. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh or or um, um, Digimon. Uh, I can see a Digimon card looking like this, but he it looks badass. It's just it's so different. Um, hey, look, BioQuartz Godzilla. Hey. Wow, double mythic back to back. Yeah, back-to-back -back mythics. 
yes, that uh, for some reason that's happened to me a lot. So there's the. Yeah, here. So, uh, wow, wait, wait, hold on a second. So foil normal, foil normal, foil full art. Let's hope you get a foil, foil. Zagoth Triumph. <laughs> Maybe a Luris. That would be. Oh, that'd be sick. Foil Winota. I haven't uh, seen Alluris would much be sick. of the white Schwartz. It looked very kind of. Uh, I don't know. What do you call that? Hentai ish. <laughs> Shovel Knight? If you pulled Nothing that sleeve, it, the flying shark token is worth a lot. Yeah, I don't know why the shark tokens are worth so much. Shark but yes. man. Yeah, yeah, it could be it. That's 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 one rare. Out of all the boxes that I open, everything I open, I still do not have a shark typhoon. Yeah, I actually Hopefully. don't have one either. Or I don't think I do. Um Ravenous Giganthorium. Giganthorium. Anyways, so he's got Devour to be any, uh, eight creatures, right? Yeah, okay. I've never been a huge uh, fan of Devour. I don't mind Devour. It deals extra damage divided by extra damage to your target. So it fights things when it comes into the field. I don't know. He doesn't yeah, look that great. Eh, there's, there's better fight cards. Extinction event, man. That's a that's a staple card right there. Is that foil? No. It kind of looked foil like oh, that. Yeah, it is. It is extended. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at that. Now that's a card. This box is so I wish weird. I had a dinger. I need a dinger. <laughs> Look at that. See, it did. Speak of it, and it shows up. What a weird looking box. Look at that. That, that Joker has spiked. I know that. I'm going to go look at that now. Heck to the yeah. That is a big hit. Congratulations, Matt. That looks so badass. The art's just sick looking. Yeah, I think that's the second most expensive foil. It is. That's a hundred dollar cart. One oh five. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pays for half the box yeah. almost. Kraken token. Oh, dude, you've definitely gotten your value back out of this box. Ah, maybe. Like I pulled some big hits, but I got a bunch of like. Ew. What is this guy? Silvar, Devourer of the Free, Five Man, a Cat yeah, Knight. I'd, I'd be surprised if you get another big hit out of this. Partner with the. You, well, this is the gotten... last. This is the last pack of this card or of this um, this box. Silvar. Silvar, the Devourer of the Free, that. Five Mana, Four Two. Partner with Trin, who I don't know who that is. He's got Menace. Sacrifice a Human. Put a one counter on it. It gains Indestructible. Well, now what you got to do is buy all the commander decks so you have all your partners. <laughs> Genesis Ultimatum full art. Look at that. I like the Genesis Ultimatum. You don't see it played all... Look at the top five cards in your enough. library. Put any number of permits from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile it. If it was an instant for the amount of mana it costs, I feel like it should be an instant, but it might be well, too good. I saw good. this like in the... What was that? Those Tybalt looks decks. looks really good, though. The Tybalt trickery decks. Unpredictable Cyclone. Cavern Whisperer. There's a foil. Look at that. You can see the foil just glowing. It's glowing in the back. It's freaking <laughs> yeah, but, it, It's like uh, neon. I, don't know. I think I know what it might be. It, it kind of looks like Space Godzilla, but... Uh, no, you wish. Sea or Octopus. I love this card, the Sea Dash or Octopus. Oh, that's yeah, what that's I meant. Exactly I, meant baby, I, I meant Baby Godzilla, not Space Godzilla. I might give this to Nate. We'll see. If it's not, if it's not worth a ton. I mean, it's it's actually a really, really good card for a mutate deck. I didn't even, I've never even read it. What does it even do? Two mana, one, three. Each creature you uh, spell you cast costs one less if it has mutate. Okay. Whenever you mm -hmm. cast your creature here, mutate, draw a card. Discard your uh, mutate cost. The only thing that I don't like is the whole draw discard. It's like, eh. Yeah. There's the one I was talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Pull that one back. Wait. But this is what we, we already looked at this. Yeah, yeah. You were thinking of the other card that matches with this, is what you were trying to think of. But it's foil, though. There's, there's another one that does a, a, a sacrifice effect. Yeah, I agree, Chicken. I, I, had, I had actually thought about going and buying, like, a lot of the undervalued cards just to have them. Like, I would basically go through... Maybe this might be one of the only sets that I start... Um, camera for you guys this yeah, might be one of the only sets right. that i start to like um collect an actual full set of something uh um, oh, I, I don't know i don't know that i'd buy all of them or anything but there's a lot there's like 700 yeah. cards to collect 
<laughs> There's a bunch. So but as far I, as I've duplication tried, I mean, goes, I love this. Set. I love the art. I love the feel. I love the the strength of it. Um, I'm not sure about the lore. I mean, I've heard sort of mixed reviews. Yeah, yeah. That was my box topper for my box. Was the non-foil version of that. that fierce guardianship? That's a forty dollar card right there, dude. You got so many hits. You're, you're killing my soul moving these things around without moving them around without sleeves on them. <laughs> Come on, just stop fighting me. There we go. What? I mean, I have sleeves, but I don't want to waste time sleeving them right now. No, but I would just be putting them in piles and keeping them safe. Oh! You did not just do that! <laughs> not even my cards, and I'm just... I'm trying to get oh, like yeah. a layout People, of everything. He, he got a lot of heat out of this box. I don't know. What do you guys think in chat? You, would you be happy with this box? I would. There's so many full art triumphs. Three full art triumphs. I, I've been collecting those triumphs quietly for a while now. A foil full art Luris. A full art Luris. Fierce guardianship. I mean, like when 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 Noda is sort of just a meh kind of pull. Yeah. All right, it is it is a hundred dollar card. I should probably put in a sleeve. Yes. Dude, yeah. I, I don't even know what the value is in this box. I'm not going to throw out too much of a guess there. The, the full art, Nethroy. I don't I don't know that the Umori is all, all that expensive. Who? Oh, yeah. Oh. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, two Bioports Space Godzillas. I know that I just literally bought one of those foil ones this week because that was another big one that I was missing. I don't have the, the, the full art Fiend Artisan or full art foil Fiend Artisan. Where's your Nethroid, man? I don't know what that is. Yeah, you do. It's, a, it's you better. It's one of the full art. I'm more wanting to sort this out and look at it because oh, I want to yeah. see like how many of the duplicates. I guess I, what I want to do is do that. And oh, you got a bunch of duplicates, but you got good duplicates. For me, I oh, got like that duplicates of like song of the whatever. <laughs> Yeah, dude, what a good box. You say Bonders Enclave was worth anything? Um, it's I like it, but it's not it's not an expensive card. No. Yeah, no, it's a good card. Uh, I but think yeah, it's a great um, card. I mean, how many lands do you know yeah, that, a, that give you card draw? I'd be pretty happy with that. I, I would wager there's probably less than a dozen, and I'm not talking about cycling, but cards, you know, land cards that give you active card draw. There aren't that many in, in the Magic Library, and Library is one of them. And the new Biblioplex yeah. is going to be another one. Yeah, he yeah, he, uh, he he did, Pablo. He got really, really good cards. And yeah, these are great. I mean, I don't. Actually, I'm just happy. Have, like good. Of the quality cards, but fellas, not over. And ladies, we got ladies in the audience here. <laughs> hey, stop stabbing the box with your ridiculously circus oversized it's not, knife. It's not that big, <laughs> like the size of my freaking head, and then like fully extended. No, it's your pocket knife, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, sir, empty your pockets. It's like. <laughs> It's, it, it might it it's might be a li it might be a little bit bigger than my hands and I have very big hands. <laughs> I do have a normal size pocket knife. This is this is this is legal. I can actually can you know, but I obviously don't carry the big one around. <laughs> You're a classy chicken. Classy chicken. I actually just had chicken. I had a chicken penne for uh, for my breakfast. It was delicious. I have chicken for dinner. <clears throat> Did I even ruin the box? Look at that. I didn't even touch the box. The box is fine. You can you can stab the crap out of it and everything's okay. Except for that. <laughs> Whatever that is. I don't think that was me. I'm not I'm gonna say that wasn't me. Okay, I don't plan to save the boxes anyways. I kinda like them. Yeah, but like 
I saved boxes for a while and then decided that um, it was taking up space, so I chucked them. I was saving like I have I have some of the fat packs, which the I guess you call well, fat packs are fantastic storage solutions. I mean, yeah, I really like the, the holiday ones better. Fat packs, right, but the fat packs, the bundle boxes. All right, what do we got? What do we got? You it already. Boom. Okay, so now first we, we have started. daring. Hold on, let me let me bring the camera back down for the the opening. There we go. I love the solution, by the way. I, I'm super stoked with how it came out. I kit bashed a selfie stick with this mic, this boom mic uh, setup, and I like dremeled out the thing so then it fit directly into the slot where the boom mic attaches, or where the microphone shock mount attaches to that. And now it's all it was one big setup. It's actually great. Save myself like 20, 30 bucks. I sort of, I, I actually missed that, like that era. I, I didn't, I wasn't around for that sort of fat pack. Um, yeah, what, what did you call the fat packs? You called it something different. Bundles. Bundles. That's what they technically call them now, or bundles. Yeah, that's but stupid. I'm never, I'm never calling like, them a bundle. They're they've gone through packs. different iterations with like different Very uh, text. Each turn of amount of has haste. Them, different things so that were inside the of graveyard. them. Put an indestructible counter on a target creature acted it as a sorcery. Ah, why, why do they do this? I don't like this. This line, this clause, I hate. Like, don't waste my time with shit. <laughs> That is a nuisance card right there. I love it. It looks cool, but I know it's not worth anything, even at full art, unfortunate. That's like a oh, three, four, five, there we go. Oh, that's well, a good one. It's a foil. That's not bad. That's Survive. a good hit. I don't know where the emphasis is on that. Survive. Dude, I love all the triumphs. I'm just, I, I can't say enough good things about them. Yeah, the triumphs are great. Stop pulling him. I have so many of this card. <laughs> it's a mythic, <laughs> but it's like as rare as a freaking common. Oh, private hey, champion. There you go. I mean, Sweet. it's not a lot of money, but... Nah, but he looks cool. Oil Godzilla land. Or land. Oh, it's, I didn't realize that there were jets in that one, too. I'm dumb. Yeah. There's buildings as well. There's no buildings in Magic the Gathering. There not the, well, Ravnica, not those... Man. Not oh, these cool. kind of... Not those kind of buildings, though. Those are, like, our traditional not, buildings. Yeah. I don't. I think the style is different. You know what? I'm just I'm, I'm just going to say this, and I'm sorry if I offend anybody that's, that's, that's watching... You know, if they make it fun on Magic cards, I really don't care if they're outside the standard lore. It doesn't, half the time when you're looking across the table, it's too hard to see the art that other people have. So, eh. Do you think they, there's no way I they... I think they did it. I think you're right, right, Stomping Grounds. You think so? Yeah. They're so ultra sensitive and... Dude, you're talking like the left coast. No offense to any left coasters out there, but... God, you're just you're just nailing everybody. No offense to I am. I'm the just, human I'm males out anybody. there. What, what no, to offend you? Just let me know in chat. No, it's a, no offense to the normal human males out there, but uh, <laughs> no offense to the breathing people. Yeah, anybody breathing right now. No offense, but uh, <laughs> you gotta stop it. It just looks like a normal dude. He's just a farmer. <laughs> He's not really okay. No, it's not. It looked like a field for a second, but now it's trees. Partner with Paco. I have no no idea who Paco is. You play a non-creature card. Well, you may play non-creature. <laughs> this is not a card he, to look He looks at. pretty bad. <laughs> oh, no, oh, it's not that guy. Elk! I think people do shenanigans with him. I mean, let's just put it this No way. card in your starting deck you has more than one of the same mana symbols. Because he's got does, five mana wait, symbols in it. That's so does this not count as one though. different color mana symbol? Because it's two? Well, it doesn't matter. It, in it, it counts the... the the mana symbols in the text box too. So it's not. Oh, just these count. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he would be. <laughs> oh, what is this guy? <laughs> that is that one got a band out of a bunch of formats. It's like an otter that's like doing like a super like charge up attack. <laughs> like, what is this? Does anybody know exactly what it was that caused this to be so broken that they banned him? This Wait, he's like... banned. Oh yeah, he's probably worth money as full art foil. Money. People is, love banned cards. Is it just cards. commander that he's banned in? Kind of difficult. Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. As a commander, uh, as a companion. Goku Otter. Yeah, basically, he's like, <laughs> give me your yeah, energy. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, that looks badass. I like that. So I'm, yeah. I'm a little worried because I know I pulled that in my, my box. Baby got the there's, there's the bane of my existence. <laughs> When I opened that as my box topper, I was oh, so yeah. disappointed. 
If you guys want to know what my box topper is, there will be a video of me opening my Ikoria box on the channel probably within the next week. It was good. Spoiler alert. Rob is jealous of it. <laughs> ah, deadly no, that's garbage. That's a great card right there. I know that one. I did pull that out of my box. Boy, it's starting to look like the box. If you I control had. a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Exile target creature. God, what? I love the art too. <laughs> the dude's like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by it's free, because don't all companions, you have to pay the three mana to pull them into your deck? Or into your hand? It's banned because he's so easy to have as a companion. It will auto it was automatically included card as a commander to make conditions always met. I, I just don't know. I, mean, I, I, just, I, I just don't understand. I looked at it, and I, I just didn't find good reasons why it deserved a banning of any sort. Maybe with the initial rules, where you could just play it. What does it mean when it says it has a different name? Does that mean like you could have two of these guys out there because they have technically different names? No, 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 no. no. Like basically, it's a commander. Sing is a commander deck because every card in your commander deck has to have a different name. Oh, that's what they're saying. Then yeah, because commander is only a one I mean, of every card, this automatically just gets it in there for free. And it duplicates cards and it has flash. Like this is a crazy good card. That actually makes sense now. That make yeah, it makes sense for EDH it's and Commander. Card, but I mean worth banning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I understand. Uh, you understand why it's banned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand why it's banned. Okay. That, that's a good card. I'm not all that Whoa, smart. look at a turtle man. That's that Godzilla one you got in the other pack. Yeah. What's that? Ooh. I see some, some silliness with him. Oh, huh? huh? Boiled Chevelle. Foil shovel. Looks pretty good. Sounds like it's foil shovel. <laughs> foil shovel. Ooh, another triumph. Full yeah. art. You take all the full art triumphs you can get and hold on to them. Yeah, I love them. They look I'm badass. Fairly confident. Ah. Uh, wow. Another one? Yeah, a foil door at. Yeah, that's fairly, fairly confident. Yeah. I don't like that card very much. It, it just doesn't what? look very good. The free you don't like the art, you don't like the card itself. The art. The art does look like it belongs in like a child. Oh my god. Book. The most difficult pack to open. Hello? Like What's happening? Alright. All right, Frontier right, War Monster. Taking off then? We should have the VOD up uh, after we're done, so if you want to see what else I pull afterwards, you're going to be welcome to uh, watch the rest of the video. Thanks for stopping by, dude. All right, Frontier yeah, Warmonger. Thanks. Four mana, four, four, whenever one or more creature attacks, opponents, plays, whatever they control until... And whatever. What is that? Cl I actually like this one. I, I want to figure out how to break it. Huh? What is this art? <laughs> it's just it's a giant, giant kitty cat. cat. <laughs> it is a giant kitty cat. And it's not even a creature, it's an enchantment. Wait, what? Yeah. It gets 2020? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. When he enters the battlefield, tap target and tap the enchanted creature. So, like, it feels like you could tap down somebody else's creature, but that's really, really expensive, you know, to tap somebody else's creature for one turn. And it also juices it. You don't want to do that. I mean, it gives it 2020. Slither, Slither Wisp. Wisp. I just, I love this. I just love Look the, at the art of that. Another card that looks like a creature from uh, Monster Hunter World. I think they might have gotten inspired by the creatures there. Either that or that's just the, the type of creatures that come when you try to make dinosaurs look badass. So it has flash and it's black blue. Whenever you cast a, another spell that has flash, you draw a card and each opponent loses a life. That's a really good card. Yeah, it looks badass. Too. Oh, I love the art on it too. Uh, Gem Razor. Ooh, Mothra. Oh, that's a good one right there. Mothra, man. It ain't foil, but it is full foil. art. Very happy with that. Yeah, that's I wanted I wanted all the dinosaur or all the uh, all the Godzilla cards basically. Oh, this is a big one, Mothraman. Supersonic Queen. It's actually a good card too. It actually does see some play. Another foil one of these things. I've got like three or four of those already. <laughs> so Mothra so far, I'm gonna say is your big hit so far. Yeah, Mothra, and then maybe the uh, Full Art Triumph, I guess, are the two top ones. Yeah. Every, so far, nothing, too far nothing too crazy. It's fine. I don't expect every box to be insane. 
Okay, Mythic in the commander slot. Trin. Legendary, so it could be a uh, commander. Mm -hmm. Partner with Silvar, Devourer of the Free. Oh, I have Silvar. Okay, so this is a card that I earlier. Uh, if you attack the turn, create a 1 1 token at the end step. So, does anybody know? I'm sorry. Okay. Does anybody know with the partner, if you had that as your commander since it's partnered, does that mean you get the color card of the partner card? Well, that's an interesting point. Probably not, but. Oh, but then you couldn't play this if, it, if you could. Right. Well, you'd have to play. What? Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure, Talamar. Does that mean, that, yes, you get the color identity of the partner? I think it was in your other deck, maybe? It in, was it in this one? Yeah. I don't know that we should waste the time going through it all. I'm just curious. I, I thought it was like blue, wasn't he? I don't know. They both start in the command zone? It's interesting. All right. Oh, Song of Creation. Look at the art on that. Yeah, that's the one I got like two or three of, so it's, it's really beginning to look <laughs> a lot like my... Oh, somebody my had box. mentioned this is their favorite art. And it's a full now, art now as well. We'll, we'll, I, I want to break this, and I, I bought sundial, the that's Sundial to, to... Wait, this what? Better. This card is insane. Oh, you have to discard no. your hand. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I still think it's insane. So if you play it with like Sundial the Infinite, and what's that uh, other card from commander legends where you stop a turn that was he like a, she's like an ogre chick i don't know. know what i'm talking about i still think this card's not though Ooh, a foil we, we, bonders we aren't right away yeah that's it obaka nice yeah so i don't know if the Ooh. colors will line up play a commander where you could line those colors up but i don't know if it's worth it I like the art of this. It looks it's another one of those cards that look like very different than a magic card should look like. If you just like like cover this up. This like not many people would think that's a magic card. It's like Naruto or something. Yeah, yeah, that's very Naruto esque. I don't even know what Narset does. Four mana, legendary planeswalker. Add different color manas. She's not Pretty a bad good. planeswalker, but I mean, has has uh has mana generation, life gain, draw, damage. Woo, the God. emblem, the emblem can happen in well in three turns. Oh look, a Thor out again. Your favorite card. <laughs> See, it's, it's a full art this time. Like, I don't know, like a kid's comic book or something. Yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of reminds me of Fern Gully. Anybody knows who what Fern Gully is? Uh, you know, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, it could be very Mortal Kombat. Apparently, these freaking shark tokens are just like non-existent. I've opened an entire box and two collector boxes so far, and haven't seen one for a freaking token. Well, it's the foil ones that I have a non-foil shark token. I love the elemental otters. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Lutri. Yeah. No, this is Eon oh, Frolicker. Frolicker. Oh, anyway, it's basically like Lutri. Is Lutri an elemental otter? I think so. Is that the creature type up there? What? Your Lutri full, full art one up there, is that also an elemental otter, I think? Top right. Above Baby Godzilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was yeah, an elemental it. otter? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So maybe they'll make a tribal for that one day. Or something far behind this. Omori the Collector. Skycat Sovereign. Um, I can't remember. It looks That's cool, kind of but... Uh, two mana two, uh, two mana for a 1-1 one, one flyer. Flying Gwen's Games. I think it's plus one for each creature. You actually like this card. I think this card's pretty great, especially in draft. If you draft this card, this is probably a win condition in itself. Ooh, I look at that art. Than it is. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life and gain X life or X to the number of times this creature mutated. Yeah, you have to get a whole bunch of them on there, and by the time you get that, usually somebody has some sort of. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, look at that art. What is that? All of, all of the arts on the Triomes are just insane for the full arts. Indatha. That looks badass. Wait, what is this guy? 
Gigan That's Cyberclaw. The That's the Godzilla version of the Gyruda. 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 The Demon Kraken. Guy Rudy. Freaking Guy Rudy. Yeah, this card looks cool. Freaking the That's autofocus of this it. camera. Yeah. <laughs> I just kept seeing it. I'm like, look at that. That's so quick. It's a freaking phone. $300. Well, $500 phone, but I got it for $300. Super happy. All right. What do we got? So what is your favorite pull so far out of this box? Chat? Out of this box? Oh, the chat. Oh, that kind of chat. Well, yours too. What's your favorite pull so far? Um... I think this triome. This is this is. I really like the art of this triome. I think maybe this, as far as art is concerned, the triome. Um, but as far as like what I wanted from the box, the Mothra is one of the cards that I really really wanted. So probably that one. If I'm not looking at art, I do agree. This is really really good art. Uh, what does this guy do? Five I mana, three three double strike. Really the best out of everything you pulled so far out of this box. Oh, wow, this guy's expensive, but he's pretty badass. Double strike. I wonder how many times I can say badass in an entire uh, stream. Uh, I don't know, but I've stopped counting. Has anybody, anybody been keeping We need count? a badass counter. Badass. Oh, another another full art titan's nest. Cub Warden. Majestic Aracorn. Yeah, I don't ever Volta play that key. many deaths. In, in or the Volta key. Destroy a oh. perfect life form foil, too. He looks That's pretty your, cool. Uh, isn't that your your quill thing? Your ever yeah, the Everquill Phoenix. Everquill Phoenix. Oh yeah, this looks way better than that. Now what's this? I can't destroy ya? This caused like a lot of like consternation about the mutate because it says whenever it goes to the graveyard, you can pay one and bring it back, but it doesn't pull back everything else that was mutated with it. Which makes sense. Ooh, yo. Cool. Dude, like I said, that's probably one of my favorite cards out of the entire. Favorite triumph, stuff. probably, probably the triumph. Yeah, non-foil biocord yeah, Godzilla. Did I pull that? Oh, you're talking about what people love. Yeah. Yeah, Mothra is, is definitely a very, very playable card. Well, so many of these are playable, to be honest. Like, I put them in commander decks. I just love YouTube. Shiny and Petus. Yeah, that's an uncommon. Who cares? Another extinction Another full art. Extinction. Is that like your third full art extinction event? I think so. Ooh, Those Eerie Ultimatum good. foil. That is not one of the better ones. I like it. It's a it's a bit expensive, but they're all that same price. They're all six. Yeah, uh, if it was an instant, it'd be really really good. Uh, ooh, a normal non foil this time though. It is full art though. I don't know if the other one was full art or not. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, King Caesar. Okay. Oh, is that a four? Oh. Hey, King Caesar, you're gonna have to wait. Nice you're gonna have to hold off a second because this, my friends. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's a shiny. New favorite pull out of the box for sure. I actually still think I like this one. Like if this, if this, this was foil, it would look better than this. But, but I love that Ketri. That's that's my commander colors. I I play the Ghidorah, and that's his color. That is really cool. I don't remember what that's called. Um, I can't even remember. When they get up into like those. The, tri the triple like ones the I don't remember. Blue. Well, Bant, isn't Bant like white, green, blue? You're asking the wrong person. Oh, the chat might know. Drop my limit. King Caesar. I'm, I'm happy that I got another uh, Godzilla card. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty spicy. That Sultai, yeah, 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 yeah. Sultai. Um, Bantas Iwug, yeah, okay, okay. And then Jund is black, red, green, and then flawless maneuver. If you control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like the white one for that Fierce Guardianship that you had. That's the white version of it. That's why the Fierce Guardianship was so much better. Wow, I don't even think I've seen that one before. I had pulled this already, wow. but it wasn't full art. 
Okay, that's Oasis. Oasis. Remember, a non-land, non-token creature you control dies. Put two cards from your library into your graveyard, then return a card. Plus. To your hand. Eh. Turkey bird. Oh. There's another. Man, you have gotten a bunch of triumphs. That's good. Savai Triumph, full art. That looks really nice. I like the art on this one as well. Naya, Abzan. I, yeah, I remember John. Grixis, Esper, yeah, yeah. So Esper was the one I was Mardu. actually thinking of. Uh... Yeah, that's the Mardu right there. Oh. An another oh. Bio Quartz Space Godzilla. Oh. Too bad it wasn't foil. Yeah, but it is. Uh, are they all full art? This one, or is there a non full art one of it? Um, n n no. <laughs> I mean, it is in the regular card. But not the bio oh. court space. It's doing it I again. Godzilla's are not it's full art. Doing the duplication again, I think. But you're right. I mean, the bio court space Godzilla is actually a really good one. Kind of surprised you haven't pulled a Mecha Godzilla yet. I know, right? I want all the Godzilla cards. I might have to buy more boxes. Well, the next Godzilla is that, that uh, one we were talking about the other day where it gets a new ability every turn. Yeah. The Crystalline Giant. The I one at random? I like the Crystalline Giant. He's good. Mind Leech or yeah, six the, mana, the, something or other. The flying. Mecha Godzilla is... Take this out. Uh, you may be right. Look at play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. Thanks. Stomping around. Three different art styles, but all Godzilla cards are borderless. My Godzilla is the only J. I'm a real expert. Oh, he's <laughs> only in collector boxes or Japanese ones. Which I. Uh, the, 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 the one I saw with this... Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. I actually like Riel. Wait. Like, if you play with Locust God, so make this your commander. This makes Tabalt not terrible. Look, Scott will cycle back in your hand if it dies. Whoa. I mean, there's, there's another Triumph. It's, it's the non full art ones, which, you know, they just don't hold a candle, in my opinion, but I think all of the Triumphs are going to go up in value. I just, I mean, fetchable, three colors. It's a lot of Triumphs. Destroy a perfect form. Yeah, you're right. I, I like, I like Real. I, I mean, it didn't get a lot of like love that I saw, but I, I don't see it played on a lot of like the. All right, the we've other, got two like, packs left. Commander channels. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and shamelessly plug us here. If you guys are liking what you see and you haven't done it yet, please, please go ahead and hit the subscribe if you haven't and the like if you like what we're doing here tonight. So what do you what do you guys think about our, our our live stream opening with the two of us on here? Is it too much? Yeah, this is our first um, this is our first foray into live streaming together, and um, I actually think it looks. Hold on, I think that might be a decent one right there. Twinning staff. Yeah. Like if you just cover up the T, it's the winning staff. All right, so the winning, winning. staff, three mana, and you just win. I hope you're enjoying us, uh, Talamar. Whirlwind of Thought. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Pretty good. I, you know what? That might be great with Strixhaven coming up. Or the pain in the butt. I've seen this on the the, the, the Jake and Joel um, commander games that they have. When this guy pops out, it's like, oh, <laughs> somebody kill that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another, oh, another, another full art triumph. That looks really good. Where's the non? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that looks way better than the actual non full art for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look at all these triumphs. Yeah, Peddler, Peddler's the bomb. I, I can't say enough good things about Peddler. Actually, Peddler's a lot of guys bomb. have been out here. Bobby Z has really really pushed since the start of the channel I, I appreciate everybody showing up i mean I, but i do have to you know bobby z has been a cheerleader peddler has has really helped out a lot 
um, other nice people out there, you know, content creators have, have done some name dropping for us. And I really appreciate everybody showing up. I really do. Yeah, Can it's, say really it's, more time? it's, but it it's is kind good. of mind boggling, but it, I think it kind of just attributes the, you know, the, the, the friendship building that you've built, just a part of the community. I'm new, uh, but they know you already. So I, they just got to like me. If they don't like me, I'll leave, I guess. <laughs> well, that would kind of suck because it's your box. Well, that, I meant, I meant for future pain, content. Man, what a pain in the butt that was. Well, that looks like a cool looking card. I actually like what they've done with the artifacts, I've noticed. They started like making it translucent around the... Um, uh, they're kind of f almost it's full art-ish. Art what? That's not an artifact. Oh, you're right. It's just a colorless creature. Mm -hmm. I just saw I just saw gray and I just thought artifact. Yeah, they have a few colorless X -X. creatures. X-X. Hmm. He kind of reminds you of Triskelion, but the, but he can't ping. Hey, Brody. All right, boom. What is that? Big Hippo Man. The hell is this thing? I love that card, I love it as a companion. Because you, you're not playing anything for the first couple turns. Well, maybe you ramp. No, you can't. How would you ramp? Oh, yeah, that's right. You actually just literally can't. I thought it, at first I, I read it as creature cards with mana cost three or, or greater. But yeah, I, I foresee this guy not being that great unless there's some kind of like, you know, combo with him. And look at the T-Rex. But but worse, because he's a nightmare. A nightmare oh, dinosaur. Oh, oh, it's the Labyrinth <laughs> Raptor. I feel, I feel like I have... It's be like a Latin right. name on that Joker. Nightmare Dinosaur, whatever that is. Anybody know Latin? Oh, what? I was asking if anybody knew Latin. Nightmare Dinosaur. Oh, oh, the Latin of Nightmare Dinosaur? I'm sure Google Translate would know. Hey! I yeah, like all I, three I, versions I, of this I, card. I, I love that Lord Rackus, especially with Strixhaven coming up. I'm definitely going to try to get this thing into it. Anything that's like fetching back spells, copying spells. Oh, no. Might have a piece in the back peeking out there. I'll say, is that back one a foil? Uh, is that back like, one a foil baby like Godzilla? Godzilla? It looks like a foil baby Godzilla. Uh, maybe not Baby Godzilla, but I think the regular Godzilla. All right. Well, we got. Um, there this go. is That's a new card command. for me. God, I mean, it's hard to read his Godzilla name. Variant. That's a shame that that was. The Luna Apex of even Wishes. Not, the non-foil one is pricey. But that's Whenever this creature mutates exile up. cards from the top of your library until you hit a non land permanent, put the card into the battlefield or into your hand. I like that it's a, a it's an option. Yup. It also exiles things, so things that exile is important. Okay, so it's not oh, Baby Godzilla. Ooh, sure. okay, that's okay. Meh. Yeah, I mean, but it, it's it's a you know it's it's, it's King Godzilla Caesar, art, so it's a Godzilla art. Yeah, exactly. It's a Liger. It's that Hunt Master. Oh, there you go. That 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 last card you just pitched away quickly. Yeah. That's another it's like uncommon. Big... Huh? It was an uncommon, so I just chucked hey, it to the side. It's a great card, man. Look at what it does. It's five mana. Anyways, whenever it mutates, exile cards at the top of your library, take down X from the card. Uh, X is the number of times this creature has been. break living daylights out of my Skute Swarm deck. Like, if I've already mutated like three or four times, and then bam, it drops like five lands in a row if I get lucky off the top of my deck with that thing. Oh, is would, it? would you cut me out? Thanks. No, no, I'm trying to cut me out for a second. I got, I got something in my teeth. I didn't want to like, yeah, there we yeah, go, kale, excuse, fucking kale. Excuse the form with just about any mutate. I don't want to be picking my teeth on stream. All right, but I got it. It was just a piece of kale. Um, so yeah, this box wasn't as amazing as the other box, but still very good with the amount of freaking triumphs. Like, what is this? Yeah, I think it'd be hard pressed to not get your value back out of these boxes i mean even though they've gone up but they're quickly starting to to creep up there i think that's why the prices have kind of gone up over the last like i don't know like two weeks maybe bad um, uh you know uh, elf investments doesn't sell their uh collector's boxes for a, a discount for their patrons <clears throat> that'd be cool <laughs> <laughs> oh he doesn't have any more he, he cycles through that stuff quickly those are gone 
long time ago. How many baby Godzillas did we get? Oh, I, I love the Triumphs. I, I, I did a video before on that, and I really went off on the Triumphs. You know, I don't know, a couple months ago. I must have stopped pulling them out. But I just, I, I, I'm in love with the Triumphs. I, I, I think they're amazing, especially with Commander and Commander being such a big format nowadays. If you're playing three colors and you're not playing a Triumph, I just don't understand. I would expect Triumphs that the non full art versions, just the regular base ones, to be some to be at least somewhere between ten to fifteen bucks a piece. Yeah, that. But he's he does he have a borderless Lurus in this? Uh, he has a foil one too. So yeah. Of what? The Lurus. Like yeah, the this one. Foil, like thirty bucks. The foil one? like a hundred bucks. Or, or do you mean? You mean, you mean those, those kitty cats? No, no. The the non full art ones are, I think, like. Oh, these aren't full art. Though. I just realized. That's fine because they came out of the normal box. So now I'm, hey, I have a playset of the, of the of the Loris, although they're legendary. So having a playset doesn't. I don't know how that would work unless you had those get around legendary rules in place. But yeah, that is very cool. Yeah, that's definitely your big hit. Is that Loris? But I mean, you got a oh, lot of great hits. I think overall, both boxes, you are. Oh, that's where the baby you definitely got your money out, and I think that many of these cards are just going to go up in value. I will not say that the baby Godzilla will go up in value. Play set of the baby Godzillas, dude. But having almost, let's see here. Well, I think honestly, stomping ground that those those Japanese alternates. Correct me if I'm wrong out there, guys, but I bought them because I, I suspected all those Japanese only variants are going to end up being pretty pricey ultimately. It was what the egg, the Mecha Godzilla, and the the Dirge Bat thing. Right, are those? It was just those three. Because I made I made sure to go out and buy those. The oh, I didn't I didn't get a place out of any land, but I almost got a place out of full arts of these. Oh yeah, and then one of those are foil. Yeah, foil. That foil's got to be worth like 35, 40 bucks. The two Zagoth, two, three Savai, three Katria. I like the Katria Triumph. Only one Indatha. But I'm okay with that. Well, well, that was actually very fun. I mean, was it $500 worth of fun? No, oh, five, five, like 30 with tax. I mean, considering if I wanted to, I could resell these cards and either make back my money or make money. It's probably worth it. I actually really enjoyed opening the packs, even if I did get like five or six of this freaking card. I have every version of this card. Foil, non-version, or foil, non-foil, full art, not full art, foil, full art, foil, full, non-full art. Like I've, oh. this guy, for some reason, I have like every one of them. Well, and like the comic book, non-comic book version. Because not only do they have like the the full art and non full art, they have like the comic book non comic book version of things too. But Godzilla Doom Inevitable, I'm pretty sure I had one of him. I mean, oh, yeah. you've gotten a, a a good solid start out on collecting the Godzilla. I, I, I you know, over time, I just can't imagine the set being so unique, being the first real crossover set. Uh, th there's a, so many firsts, and, and if they never come back with mutate, which I don't know, I I think it would be I think it would be strange if they came out with mutate again in another set, like anything new. So these are going to be the only mutate cards, and I think mutate's super strong. Nah, you think they're not going to make more mutate cards? No, they, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong here, chat, but they, they're assigning like specific mechanics to different sets, right? That are only in that set. You're saying like in order for them to reprint this, they'd have to like do like a re, uh, 
Well, they could always do like they, they would do with Gate Crash. It was like three cars, different sets. But I'm talking about making new ones. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like they could make a. You know, there's like tip. Sometimes they do like three different versions of the set. Like there's a Gate Crash. Um, yeah, mutate was definitely. I can't. Ultra for some reason, I can't actually. It, 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 I don't know that. Shoot, I've I've read up on it. I've gone online and asked judges about specific scenarios that I can't even recall right now. Um, like for Dragon's example, Dragon's Maze. That's I, I can't remember, but correct me if I'm wrong here, Chet. I know that the commander, if you mutate, it is a commander. But what if you mutate your commander on top of Scoot Swarm and copy the crap out of it? Is every copy a commander? I don't think it could be. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it destroy itself because of the legendary rule? No. Why not? No, only the original one would be the commander? Okay. But it doesn't have to be the one that's the face card. It could be under the stack. Yeah. See, this just, this just, this gets it for me on some level, having all the Godzilla art stuff. I want to get an idea of, like, what all the Godzilla cards that I have. So you're saying that the Skew Storm would blow up with the commander? if it was underneath the face card. Or any legendary, I guess you'd say on that stack. <laughs> the freaking baby Godzilla's man. <laughs> yeah, anyways, the, the whole point of that exercise was like, just all the different nuanced rules about mutate made it just difficult and especially when you're you know knee deep into five foot tall trulies yeah the fact that you can mutate uh, the same creature multiple times it's cool but it, it just screams please remove me but kind of i don't know I, it I, definitely in, does. i'll say in practice i don't know that i like it in in theory it sounds cool well but if you only have one set of lightning greaves yeah I mean, obviously, you could protect it. Yeah, it's easier to protect a single creature than it is a whole fleet of them. True. Additionally, if you can bounce it back to your hand, they all re-trigger again in whatever order you want them to when you play them. Oh, I forgot that I got a full... Oh, wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Well, full art of the Godzilla. That's cool. I actually think what is it the other boots the the one casting the the one equipped cost oh daggum it what are they the ones that give it hex proof rather than shroud the new boots I don't know no they're gonna come up with here in a second just because I'm old and forgetful yeah my memory's terrible it also might be from a set that I never even played <laughs> it's a fairly newish card. All right, I feel well, like well, thanks anybody who's who's taken off. Really appreciate everybody checking in with us. I hope you had fun. I had fun. Yeah, I had a blast. Uh, thanks for joining I'm glad us. That we have and they weren't two dud boxes. No, these were these are oh, worth it. Fine. These are worth it for sure. That's a good. They're one. definitely entertainment value as far as uh, opening it up and and watching or and then have people experience it with me. It. it makes you want to buy more, but I mean, I don't really. I don't know. <laughs> I bought a few. But I do have uh, a box of Theros coming that I'll do an opening for. Uh, maybe the next live stream would do the opening of my Theros and another Ikoria box. Well, we'll see maybe, what we're doing on the next live opening. I'm glad that I got one of these. I don't know why, but I really like the art of this. Um, oh, yeah, the next live stream might be uh, more focused on what Rob's doing because that's kind of what we're planning on doing. I don't know if you guys like this kind of... Um, setup that we have basically we had we had the idea that um because i'm opening sets that i've never played before and never looked at um and rob has looked at these or bob 
Um, and I don't know, it just uh, makes a lot of sense to be able to, you know, have somebody, you know, obviously it's entertaining for him to watch as well, but to chit chat about the, the packs as well. I don't know, I like it. I had a good time. And that's a lot of Godzilla cards. No, no I, Ghidorah. You, you no, I haven't seen a Ghidorah in Godzilla three boxes. Collection. Did you get a Ghidorah in yours? What's that? Did you get a Ghidorah in your box? Uh, actually, yeah. I got the foil one. That's going for oh, like that's right. 250 bucks right now. Yeah. So I got, I got lucky. Actually, it wasn't in a box. Sorry, it was not in my box. Uh, the, the one that I got on my box was the non-foil. I got the... It was nuts. I bought three of those individual blister packs from uh, Ground Zero Comics, the ones that, that Joey talks about. Yeah. Um, that was actually my first foray into it. I bought three collector packs. And out of those three collector packs, I got a foil Gadira and I got a foil Mothra out of three packs. How many of the Godzilla cards are there? Like these specific, you know how many there are? Does anybody no, know how many, like, how many, like, how many, like, Swiffa boots? Swiffa boots might be the other. Did you already? Yeah. Did that one? Swiffa boots. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the chat. I was <laughs> sorting and talking. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. David was the first one to, to call that out there. Oh, yeah. David's got a, a great knowledge of magic cards. My oh, memory's terrible, but he's, he's got great knowledge on them. Sometimes I feel like an idiot, but I'll, I'll, sit, I'll still sit and talk about magic all day with you. Ah. Never feel like an idiot. Nobody knows everything. Uh, well, we're actually we're actually just wrapping it up here, Matt. Um, but thanks for stopping in. Um, you can see a lot of the good hits that we got that he got here uh, tonight. We, yeah, this we, was all the this was all yeah. just the Godzilla cards. Um, I guess since you're leaving quickly because uh, you've got dinner, uh, the Where'd best work, hit though? the best hit was uh, the Loris. The foil full art. It's it's in a it's in a sleeve, so it's kind of hard to tell that it's foil, but. The foil full art Alluris. Uh, it doesn't look like it's... Oh, well, no, it is kind of Pringling already. A little bit. But um, I have a way to, like, prevent that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty big. I mean, for a $100 card, it's probably worth putting it in a... Um... I know... Actually, you know what? Do these fit... In the binders, if you hard if you hard pack these, buy a box, huh? Do you have the buy I'm a not box sure what one? You're referring to Delmar. There might be a buy a box promo. Oh, I do have that. The hanger back walker guy. Yeah, I bought like four of those for like four dollars a piece in foil. Yeah, it's not technically in the set, Matt. There's a, there's another one outside of it, and it's like the hanger back walker. It's not. I don't think it's a Mecha Godzilla. It's a. It's a hanger back walker. I think I bought right. the wrong top loaders. They're like way bigger than they're supposed to be. Is that standard? Mm, <laughs> I thought they, I thought they used to fit usually, a little better than that. They're usually pretty big. Hmm. Looks a little wide side to side, but no, they're usually pretty big like that. This sure is probably not. This, this is not going to fit in the binder. Yeah, I'm well, I get, yeah, I'm okay. not going to try it. Mecha, mecha Godzilla, binder. but it wasn't Mecha Godzilla. But it's Hanger Back Walker. Yeah. Oh, also, if you Sorry, guys I didn't notice, my, um, my camera, my camera is not freaking out about this or anything else behind me because I got a green screen, an actual real one instead of a, a software one. If you watch any of our videos, um, the I was using RTX's pretty magical solution to be honest um it basically puts a fake green screen behind you like you don't have to, you can have you can have nothing behind you um and it puts a fake green screen behind you and it works okay uh, but nothing like the actual real green screen and that was only 12 bucks by the way rob 12 bucks and then i wow. i i did one of those <laughs> I, I did my my uh my special um kid bash of it's basically <laughs> i mean i'll show you after stream but it's yeah, it's so kind of rigged that, that green screen is is, is a huge, huge thing I know for uh, Sherry Vegas out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it, it prevents the uh, the freaking out of the camera for sure. What would you call that? Like dithering, pairing, something like that. I'm sure there's a name for it. The green Godzilla. The red green Godzilla turns the power, power into their toughness. Um, yeah, I have that one too, but I can't remember what it is. Um, do I have it? 
No, no, no. The red green Godzilla that turns their power into tough. Oh yeah, okay, I remember that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was like Godzilla something or other. I don't think that was like a Mecha Godzilla, was it? Yeah, Narset's probably worth money. Maybe not. I don't know if anybody I, ever I uses Narset. Far, far worse on your opening. I know. Like my box, I was much more disappointed. I, I really, I forgot. I really hit on those three extra packs that I bought. So I bought like a box. I bought like eight loose packs online for like 90 bucks, like at the low point. Um, and I bought the three, I started off with the three collector packs. Actually, I think those were the first magic product I bought getting back into magic this time around was three, three collector packs, for like 20 something dollars a pack. Boy, what would that be under? Homo packs? So hard. They well, I guess, so many I guess the, the Yorian Sky Nomad is actually 44 bucks. Hold on, was that foil? Which one? The Yorian um, Sky Nomad Full Art. If, if it was foil, it's $44. Or $40, I mean. Yeah, foil. There's a big foil multiplier on that, though. Yeah, I, I don't remember if the one that I pulled was foil because I kind of chucked it off to the side. Wow, it's saying those non-foil Lurises are like 20 bucks a piece. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the promo. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the promos, trying to figure out, but those were like those were like the promo packs, not the buy a box promos. Yeah, the Lurus Dream Dead, the, not, the full art non-foil is 27, and the foil is 105. And that was a really nice hit. <laughs> Was it King of the Monsters? Is that what it is? That's what Godzilla he said. King yeah, he said Monsters? Godzilla King of the Monsters. That was from uh, Stomping Grounds MTG. So, uh, well, I mean, but it was, yeah, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Yep. Not super expensive, but I love it. I'm going to have to go through all of these cards, all the the commons and commons, and, and sort them. That's actually one thing that's interesting. Um, oh God, I lo I, I'm gonna separate that card because this card, foil full art, it's just very colorful, but it's done in a tasteful way. I love, I love the ability. ability. I love the ability of yeah, pulling yeah. sorceries and instants back. Oh, uh, especially multiple. Foil. Well, that means the not the full art non-foil. It's still thirteen dollars. I thought it was foil. Yeah. I, I just love the card, but they're they're actually in a. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're in a. Maybe I'm thinking of the Dream Trawler. Yeah, they're not in a precon. That's I'm definitely thinking of the Dream Trawler. You know what's funny about playing? Uh, the, the thought of playing Commander just hit me that sometimes you I want. Like I like that. I want to. Oh, stomping around. You like that card? I guess it's a little bit of a spoiler alert, but I have a foil full art by Lente. That was my box topper. Yeah, he got that for his box topper. I got a, I got a non foil he got a, baby Godzilla. He got, he got this guy. <laughs> yeah. Wah, yeah, I'm wah. definitely gonna give this one to Nate. Although I have to see like what ones yeah, he yeah. wants most, because he really likes the Godzilla cards. And he was super happy I that they were cheap. Cards. Oh yeah, I love the the idea of them doing other sets. Like the Walking Dead sounds, that sounds cool. Are they gonna have the people from the Walking yeah, Dead? Dude, that that set so many people off with the Walking Dead. It's like holy lord. Yeah, well people they're just like, angry. Don't like cards. I, you know. Whatever, you know? Yeah, people yeah, like yeah. it. Brings more people in the game. So be it. Let it be. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, that guy got Ghidorah as his, uh, his box topper. Mr. Telemar. Oh, Want that foil Lutri? Lutri. <laughs> yeah, which one, yeah, me which too, dude. Which is the foil Lutri? Oh, that's your, that's your uh, commander card, right? No. <laughs> I don't oh, have no. a foil one. I have, I have a foil. No, one, I meant the, the Lutri oh, is your abandoned commander, dude. Yeah, that guy, the otter. Yeah, I just think that art is super sweet. 
Like, can you yeah, get a close-up on that? I mean, that's just, that is just amazing art. Nice focus, too, by the way. Look at the camera. Look at it doing work. How, how close can I get to this thing before it starts freaking that out? Too close. You're too close. Bang it out! Pull out! Focus! <laughs> I want to see if it focuses. It won't focus. All right, so there is a there is a limitation. <laughs> yeah, but it's still you pretty good. Have your camera. That was a great camera. I wish mine was that good. Look at that focus. It's actually one of the best focusing phone cameras I've ever seen. It actually focuses very well. What a cool card. It was funny because I, I, I actually... Cool I, mean, um, I, I, you know, I know that 500 is, you know, steep. Yeah. But think of it this way. The Modern Horizons 2 boxes, the collector boxes... I think I've seen like pre-orders that they can't actually pre-order just yet. The cheapest I've seen it listed was like 360 and they're talking by the time it releases, it's going to be like $500 for a collector box for one collector box. At is, this, is this still 12 packs? Yep. That's insane. That uh, that's, that's too steep for me. I'll but probably yeah, still, kind of I'll probably still buy it. <laughs> that's, oh. Yeah. That's, that's one I would tune in for and just, like salivate but good god 500 bucks for a single box that's just crazy yeah as long as it's not a feel bad box i'm okay with it oh it was oh, oh it was foil but it's normal damn i was like i remember a foil of this <laughs> damn yeah i i, I yeah, bet I'm you there's a lot of you. there's a lot of cards i passed up that were probably Bro, still yeah, worth I mean, pulling and, and right on the back of that like a month later they're gonna have dnd raise your hand i'm super happy for dnd i know i am oh. I'll raise two hands. Unless they bank on that daggum party mechanic. Yeah, well, maybe they do. Maybe maybe they make it better. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't want to hold everybody up here. Um, yeah, I mean, again, at this point. If you have so far, if you liked what we did here tonight, let us know. Um, if you want to see more of this style with two people doing a live box opening. Uh, I, I actually enjoyed myself a lot. Yeah, I, I had a really good time, um, and I'm super happy that uh, that we had a great turnout of, of people. So I'm glad that everybody came and um, and chatted and whatnot. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So um, keep an eye out for over the next like week or two. There's going to be two videos dropping from myself. It is just a solo video, but it's the same kind of um the same kind of like feel and theme so it's got a, it's got music in the background it's just me with a webcam um just opening packs of cards and then learning the sets because uh that's kind of how i decided to, to learn these sets is to just open the packs of cards and read them and look at them and feel them because for some reason i don't know just looking at a web page and reading the cards i find myself kind of wandering from doing that like i'll i'll pull up the web page and i'm like oh i'm gonna check out this set and then i'll like scroll and then I'll find myself just doing something else about five to ten minutes later. But when I have the cards in front of me, uh, my ADD is less um, less in play here. Because I'm having them in my hands. I'm physically holding them. There's something about having them. So for me, I, I enjoy opening the packs of cards uh, probably f almost more than playing. <laughs> I love opening packs of cards. Um, well, we'll see where it goes, Talon. I mean, if they start with the Forgotten Realms, I can I can already see, like... That's supposed to be the core. I could see them branching out the Dragonlance and, and just going everywhere. Yeah, they probably the went with Forgotten Realms because Forgotten Realms is the more popular um, world that more people are familiar with. Once they get an idea of how it performs, they could go with other realms as well. But yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Dragonlance. Um, I've never played in the world of Dragonlance, but I actually host a D&D game i'm the dungeon master for a forgotten realms one i'm doing the um in, out of the abyss campaign very fun actually um the last session that we did the time flew like it blew it blew my mind like i didn't feel like we were playing for three and a half hours but yeah it it just blew by which yeah, is a good I, thing I, I, if, this, if this goes well for dnd that they're going to branch out to a lot of different um, oh yeah for sure uh so just quick note i'm gonna try i i can't promise but i'm gonna try to get my hands on some uh sorry i'm trying to read the chat too well i'm trying to think and talk and that's usually bad for me 
But uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to get my hands. Uh oh, what happened there? Kind of Nothing. The there. Nah, yeah. Um, Steam was like, you want to do an update right now? We like, do a live opening. Uh, if you guys want to see that, probably just like one of the uh, the pre-release pre kits, kit. maybe one or two of those on probably mm -hmm. Friday. I was supposed to get some a little early, but it looks like probably Friday at the earliest and maybe do a live opening if you guys are interested in that. Yeah, I'm going to call one of the game stores that I know nearby and hope that I still have the contact that I used to have. I tried to message him on Facebook, but either he doesn't like me anymore or because I haven't been there in years. So I'm going to try to call him and see, uh, you know, what's up and if I can find a contact to try to get some product beforehand so we can have some like, you know, cutting edge openings. Uh, but if not, it'll be, you know, um, Maybe a day or so after release or the day of release or whatever. I'm going to try to get my hands on some Strixhaven like Friday. Do a live opening if you guys are interested. But just yeah, stay so tuned, I'm check in on the channel. I'll, I'll, I'll put up a, at least a few hours ahead of time. You know, a, uh, what do they call that? A scheduled event. Yeah, kind of the same thing that we did with uh, this today. And, and what we'll try to do is we'll try to give a couple more days notice if we can. Um, but because this is the first one, we were still figuring out everything. I had to make sure that I had the, the stream set up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this went great. I'm super happy. So thanks for joining me, Bob. And thanks for having me. Thanks for putting up with us, guys. We're still sort of stumbling through a lot of this, trying to get ourselves squared away with all the tech and, and, and the direction of the channel and everything. So. Please keep feeding back, and however you need to get a hold of me, I'm sure a lot of you talk to me in, in, in Discord, and uh, we'll find me around. We have uh, an email address that you can send, you know, smoke signals to if you have to that way. <laughs> um, just you know, let us know. Uh, we definitely want to give you guys what you want to see. Yeah, and if you guys have ideas of content, uh, you can always either, like you said, email us or message us in. Uh, and in any of the video comments, uh, Bob makes sure to go and he reads every single comment and comments on every single one. Uh, I comment I on probably like 50% of the the, the, one, the videos that I've been in and I'm slowly working my way to, back towards the other videos that he posted um, to kind of interact with you guys as well because that's kind of what is the main driving force of us is we want to you know become part of the community, not just put out content. It's more about you guys than... And, and also for us having fun and, and kind of hanging out with uh, him and I. So, yeah, so far it's fun. We'd love to bring you guys into that too, you know, the best we can. I, I, I eventually see when we get enough followers that we'll probably set up like a Discord and have, uh, you know. A, a I was actually thinking of doing that already, but content. I mean, with the amount of interaction we have in chat already, having a Discord where, you know, our followers or subscribers can come join and hang out might be worthwhile, but. I mean, we'll see we'll do a couple more of these things see what people think if, if people are interested in that then we can do that um and we can even have like um you know maybe half hour after the stream hop in discord and chat with the uh, chat with people if they want to hang out with us off stream something like that i don't know it'd be cool some we can always do all kinds of stuff so just just let us know what you guys want like and don't be afraid to to be critical too if there's something you didn't like sound was bad we're talking over each other the lighting was bad you hate my offensive nature towards everybody on the planet. Uh, let us know. <laughs> I have to say, there's no way there's any issues with lighting or quality of pictures. I think we've done very well at making sure that our audio and uh, video is is as top notch as you know as it can be. Like this, I'm very happy with this setup. So, if you guys have any comments about it, obviously you know let let us know. But I, I'm 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 tickled pink, as they say. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to see any tickling or any of your pink, but uh, yeah, whatever you have for us, guys and, and gals, you know, let us know. There's Seriously, no girls on the internet. All right. Well, we're just that, babbling on at this that's point. I want to let everybody yep. get on with their evening. It's pretty late. Yep. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. It was a, I, I had a fantastic time. I hope you guys did, too. And hopefully we'll catch you later this week if uh, you want to see some of, more of our openings. Stay tuned, folks, and have a good day. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.